on this journey of faith, we all start with good intention, with great fire, but somehow down the line, the fire stops and we enter a slippery road that's leading to nowhere and we think that we are leading to somewhere. End of quote. Think about it. Hello children of God, hello viewers. Uh, thank you so much for clicking this video again. I'm so excited to find you here again. Thank you so much for sharing our content. Thank you for coming back to watch this content. I hope you're being inspired, you're being motivated, and I hope you're learning something. Thank you so much for the overwhelming support I've gotten so far. May God bless you. May God meet you at your point of need. Let's continue spreading the word of God. And if you're new here, you've just come across this channel. My name is Ruth. Here we teach the word of God. We inspire and we motivate. So you are in the right place. God has led you here with a papa. So sit back and and subscribe this channel for more inspirational videos like this one so today i have a very interesting video for you i've titled this video may you finish your rest well ensure that you finish your rest well so you and i may god help us so stay tuned at the end of this video i've titled this message may you end your rest well this message is also speaking to me today May I also end this race well? How are we going to end this race well? May God help us today. May God give us the grace to finish this race well. So this message is about let's focus on how we are going to finish the race. And we're going to focus in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 25 to 27. Paul was writing to the Corinthians about his fear on finishing his rest. So if you have the, a Bible with you, open the word of God in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 25 to 27. I'm going to read uh, with the help of the Holy Spirit. So, and everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown. But we for, but we for an imperishable crown. Therefore I run this, not with uncertainty, thus I fight, not as one who beats the air, but I discipline my body and bring it into subjection. Let when I have preached to others, I myself should not become disqualified. After I preached to you, after I have motivated you, after I have inspired you, May I end this rest well. The fear of Paul was, after all the preaching and all the motivation and all the encouragement, his fear was, if he does all that and at the end of his rest, he may be disqualified. One thing you have to remember when Paul was writing this letter, it was not that Paul was not born again. Paul was born again Christian, filled with the Holy Spirit. Paul was dedicated, servant of God, but he had fear and anxiety that after doing all this, may he not be qualified. Paul was talking about the eternity reward, the end reward, the heavenly reward in this case. So Paul had fear after he had done all this may he not be disqualified may he not be able to access the internal reward may god help us may god help us today that we may end this rest well and may we not be disqualified after we have done all this at the end of the day today my advice will be let us not spend our life here on earth living a life that's not of purpose because paul really wanted to live a life of purpose to please god so that at the end of the day he won't be disqualified from the heavenly reward so today i want us to ask 
ourselves a question, me and you, yeah? How are we going to end this race? We will not just leave your nuts saying that we preach the gospel, we motivated people, we were choir members, we were preachers, we were evangelists, we did all what you could on us. But I know the day we get disqualified. That one alone cannot give you a space in the heavenly reward. You being a choir member, you being a powerful your own preacher, you spreading the gospel, you doing all that to the world does not give you a ticket to a heavenly reward. You need to live a purpose-filled life, a life that is focused for you to be able to obtain the heavenly reward. All that you are doing is good. Yeah, it's good to sing, it's good to preach, it's good to motivate, to inspire, and to do all that. But we need to live a purpose-filled life. We need to live a life full of purpose. So at this point, I know someone is asking, so how do I live a purpose life? How do I ensure myself I end this race well? How do I ensure that I lead a road that is leading to somewhere? You know, sometimes you might be born again. You think that you're leading to a road that's leading somewhere. In the reality, that road is leading to nowhere. So we need to be focused and to ensure that you're living a purpose life. Today, I will introduce to you Rustom. I don't know if it's clear enough that initials that are going to guide you through this journey to make sure that you end well. Let me write here, uh, Rustom, that initials. So I'm going to outline for you what each letter mean and how it's going to guide you through this journey so that you may end your race well. I'll use this to clarify. So I hope the camera will do some justice, but I'll start with letter R from Rustom. R, R will mean, means reading. So in this journey of faith, you need to read the word of God, go deeper and ask God what God wants you to do. So make sure when you're on this journey of faith, read the word of God. Go deeper in the word of God get clarification from the word of god what does god want you to do what is the word of god saying about you so make sure you read the word of god when you are in this journey of faith remember we are focusing on how to end this journey well so number one thing you need to do is to read the word of god and go deeper in the word of god and find out what god is saying about you so A uh, means allow. So allow God to use you. Allow God to correct any imperfection in your life, mind, and you. Uh, we are not perfect. We go short of God's glory every now and then. So allow God to perfect every imperfection thing that is in your life. Perfect and correct anything that is short of God's glory in our life. So allow God to use you. So the second A uh, in the word Rastom, uh, it means abstain. So when you're in this journey of faith, abstain anything that will distract you from the word of God, any kind of relationship, any kind of meetings, any kind of communication, and anything that will distract you from the word of God, any relationship that will distract you from the word of God, anything that will allow you to get out of the word of God kindly abstain from it. So that is R, uh, the second R uh, from the word Rastom. So abstain anything that's going to draw away, to draw you away from the word of God. S, S means say no to anything that comes your way. When anxiety come, when fear come, say no to it. Say no to, to any kind of fear that will distract you from the word of God. So say no to fear. Don't allow fear to overtake you. Don't allow anxiety to overtake you. So say no to any kind of fear. Anytime anxiety knocks your door, say no. E, e ensure that you're living a purpose full of life. When God creates us, God gives each and everyone a purpose in life. You're not just born 
to eat, drink, and die. You have a purpose you have to accomplish on this earth. So ensure that you're living a purposeful life. Ensure that you're living your purpose. Don't just live an ignorant life. And some say, I don't have gifts. Identify your purpose and ensure that you're living a purposeful life here on earth. T, try not to overwork yourself. Don't overwork your body. Don't overwork, overwork yourself, sorry. Uh, trying to impress people and they draw you away from God. Yeah, overworking yourself with worldly things that don't make sense. They drain you even from worshiping God. You overwork yourself. You don't take care of your body. You cannot be able to worship God. So avoid overworking yourself. So try not to overwork yourself and focus on the word of God. Because sometimes we get overwhelmed with work and when prayer becomes a plan B in our life, you don't prioritize prayer because you have worked yourself, you have drained yourself, you cannot even be able to pray. So make sure you try not to overwork yourself and neglect anything that's of God's kingdom. Oh, be open to correction. Yeah, anyone correct you from your mistakes, be ready to learn because we learn every day. We are not perfect. You know, most of us Christians who are born again, we are never ready to be corrected. You know, we are human beings. Does not mean when you're born again, you don't make mistakes. You just make mistakes like any other person. But the good thing is you are conscious, yeah, on what you're doing and you know what is right, what is bad, which steps to take and the Holy Ghost guide us. But anytime you are corrected, be ready to, to, to be open and accept corrections and move on. So all means be open to corrections and let people advise you when, when need be and don't lock yourself and be open to mistakes that you have done yeah and learn also to correct other people m the last one m means make sure you use the talents that god has given you to enhance the kingdom of god don't use your talents to worldly pleasures make sure anything you're doing any skills any talent that god has given you make sure you're using that talent to enhance to beautify the kingdom of God. Thank you so much for watching this video. May we all end well, me and you. May God help us on this journey. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe down below here and put on the bell so that anytime I upload a new video, your man is the first people to be notified. So thank you so much for being here today. May God bless you. May God enlighten you. And please tell someone about Jesus today. And until next time, goodbye. May we end well.